let's set up your Google API project for LPAC. You can find a link to this documentation page in the description. First, let's go ahead and click on this link to log into the Google Cloud platform. Let's open it in a new tab. Okay, so right now we're at the Google Maps platform in Google Cloud. We need to select a project to work with. So click on the drop down menu if you already have projects and click on new project. But if you don't have any as yet, click on create project. So now you need to enter a descriptive name for your project. I'm going to call mine LPAC test. And once you're done, click on the create button. So now we just need to wait for Google to set everything up before moving on to the next step. Okay, so we have a list of available APIs. So let's go ahead and click on the Maps JavaScript API. Once the page is done loading, click on Enable. Okay, so now we need to enable one more API. Let's find and click on Geocoding API on this page. Let's click on the Enable button. You may have to wait about 5 to 10 seconds. So once you have enabled both APIs, click on Credentials on the left. Okay, now let's go ahead and click on Create Credentials at the top of the page. And once the menu opens, click API Key. So here's your API Key. Now you'll need to copy and paste this into your plugin settings. You can either highlight and copy this key or click on the Copy icon. So now you need to go back to your WordPress website to paste your API Key. From your WordPress dashboard, hover over WooCommerce and click on Settings. Next, click on Location Picker at checkout and paste your API key in this field. Once you're done, scroll to the bottom of the page and click on Save Changes. So we have successfully added the API key. Now the next step is to restrict this API key to prevent unauthorized usage of your request quota. So go back to Google Cloud, close this modal, and click on the Edit icon. Now on the left, under Application Restrictions, let's click on HTTP Refers. Once you've done this, scroll down and click on Add an Item. Next, you'll need to add a referrer to this field, and this will be your domain name, which you could find in your address bar. So let's go back to the API settings, and I'm going to enter my domain name with a slash at the end between two stars. Just be sure to enter your own domain name and not the one that I'm typing. Once you're finished, click on the Done button. Now let's go ahead and click on Save at the bottom of this page. Okay, so now I'm gonna make sure everything works. I'm gonna go back to my website. Let's go over to the store. Now let us simulate a purchase. I'm going to select this diamond ring. Click add to cart. Okay. Now we just need to go ahead and check out. Okay. So here's our map. This means that everything was set up successfully. Now to make use of the geocoding API, you would need to set up billing for your Google Cloud account. So from LPAC's documentation page, click on this link to set up billing. I'm going to open this in a new tab. So my page may look different because I've already set up billing, but if you haven't, you'll be able to enter your account and payment information to set it up. The platform offers $200 monthly credit for free for maps, routes, and places. And at the time of this recording, new users also get $300 free trial credit for 90 days. You can find more pricing information on this page, I will leave a link in the description. Once you're done setting up billing, click on the Budget and Alerts tab on the left-hand side. Next, click on Create Budget. Now we need to give this budget a name, so I'm going to call this Low Free Credit Alert. But you can add anything descriptive. Let me get the capital F. Leave the time range as Monthly. Under Projects, I'm going to leave this as All Projects, although we just have one. I'll skip Services. Under Credits, uncheck Discounts and Promotions and Others, then click Next. Under Amount, for Budget Type, we have two options, but I'm going to leave it as Specified Amount. Now for Target Amount, I'm going to set this to about 180. That will give you enough time to disable LPAC before the $200 is reached. Once you're done, click Next. So the threshold rules look good. 
If you want, you can go ahead and click on the add threshold to add another one. Under manage notifications, we don't need to add anything else here. So I'm gonna scroll down and click on finish. Okay, so now you know how to set up your Google API project and install your Google Maps API key.